Good morning, this is Robert Pulse, and today I'm going to talk about associations and Roots Magic 9. Let's get the screen up here. Okay, you should see my file. This is uh, from one of my family members. And the first thing I want to do is take and, oops, it went back. Okay, there we go. Is add an association to somebody. So you come up here and hit the plus and you say, hey, access. And there's association right there. And we go into that. Now, let's say you want to build a brand new association. You go up here and you click this. And then you fill in these blanks. Okay. And uh, when you fill in those blanks, then this stuff comes down here. Now, one thing that I would do is I would have an association open so I can take a look at a sample of a uh, sentence template. It helps me a lot to take and see one. Uh, and uh, so that's what I do. So let's look at one that's fully filled in. Then. And I can do this by cancel this. And I could choose this. And then I can say edit. Okay. Now add edit. You can sit here and you can take and enter everything that you want to take and enter. And uh, uh, here and here's the sentence, sentence template. I want to bring your uh, notice to the colon plane. Uh, one, one of the problems I had with this, and, then, and the Roots Magic group helped me a good deal, the Roots Magic user group on Facebook, was that there are little verbiages in the sentences that are uh, the uh, these blocks between the brackets have uh, adjectives associated with them in some cases. And to get rid of those, you do a colon plane and they go away. And that's something I learned in the process of putting this together. So this is one that's fully filled out. Uh, this is my uh, custom association. You can use, you don't have to use custom associations. There's quite a few of them there that are there. But I, I decided I want also came from. And I'll show you how I use that. Okay. So I have a uh, thing called us all, also came from. So let's go look at it for a second here. And oops. Here we go. And also came from was George Wesley, uh, Wesley Pulse. Uh, also came from, and here's the sentence. G.W. Calvin also moved from Highland County, Ohio in 1845 to Hardin uh, Township in Pike County, Illinois. Okay. And so I have that in there. I can take and, uh, and uh, look at Mr. Calvin's. That's the sentence I have on the George side. And then I can go back. Let's see. How do I do that? Should have had Mr. Calvin open, shouldn't I? I will get there. Oh. What did it, oh, here it is. There he is. And go to it. Open him up. And here's the associated. And it says, George Wesley Fultz also moved from Highland County to Highlands. And when I tried to put a date in for George Wesley Fultz's uh, uh, move, it was hard to do, so I may get smarter later on and learn how to do that, but there it is. So that is how you take and do, uh, make a, a new association. That's how you take an edit association. And that's enough for this minute. Hi, it's Robert Paltz again. In uh, 2003, 
I was at the Pittsfield Public Library in Pike County, Illinois, and I uh, picked up this document, which uh, lists all the people uh, that are in Parton Township and where they came from, which uh, is kind of a rare document for me. And so I, ever since then, I wanted to take and do something called fan research using the uh, uh, using this information and trying to take and do something with it and see what it, who influenced who in that travel over from uh, from Highland County to Pike County, Illinois. And so to do that, I developed what I showed you before, which was uh, on, which was uh, also came from. And so for each of those people that had come from Highland County, and you can see them here, down through here at different times, also came from and also came from. I entered them in, into this as I showed you with the association's report. So now it's time to, to print out a report on that. And so what you do is you go to publish and you choose Associations list individuals. And it came up in the other window, so we'll bring it over here so you can see it. And it shows Association's report of George Wesley Paltz. And then George Wesley Paltz, you can change this to another person if you're if you've made a mistake, but this is fine with me. This is who I wanted. And then there are three different formats, and I'm going to show you all three of them. So one of them actually fails. Uh, so we'll do the place first. Uh, we have how we'll take and separate the generations, this information down through here. Here's the pages of the paper that you're going to take and print out on. So it shows you what the page in the format looks like. And here's the header and footer. So you can take and change the header and the footer. And then here's the font styles. You'll see that all of mine are Arial. Yours are probably going to be different. I like Arial for everything. Uh, I don't like surfs on my characters, so I don't take and get confused about what character I've got. So I go all Arial. Uh, I don't know what this, how this affects it because it, we don't print out birth and death in this report. And I didn't include any sources, so I don't know exactly how this works on EndNotes, but it's there. And so we generate a report, and this is the report. It looks just like that. You can go up here and save it, and it comes up with three different formats. Okay, so let's go back to this, and let's choose the next report and generate it. And that comes up like this. This is my favorite report because I use this uh, that's, that's what I look at, and I think that's going to be the one. Again, you have the same three options to take and save. And then the last one is the narrative report, which is interesting because it failed uh, something, so I may have to take and learn how to do a little bit better uh, job on my, on my uh, uh, custom association. Anyway, going back to this. That's the one I like to see and generate that. So that's how you generate a report. Uh, I'll save this one just to show you how to do it. I'll put it out as a PDF and put it into downloads and save. I like that. It should pop back up here in just a second. Let's see. Here we go. So this is what the report looks like when it's saved in PDF. Quite easy to read, actually. A lot easier to read than the one on Fruits Magic. Okay. Uh, that should do it. And they say, Hello, it's Robert Paltz again. Let's uh, set up screen share. 
Okay, these are, uh, oh, there we go. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a posting I placed at when I was doing this at uh, 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 Roots Magic Help Group. And so you can go there and get this information. I was helped by Bob Colson. And he did a quite a good job for me. And here's some of the discussion. I think you should be aware of these things going on. Uh, that there are some concerns about uh, using associations in uh, in roots uh, in roots magic. And so I think you should be there. Bob pointed me to the census template information, and then specifically to uh, let's see, I can't find it again. It's down here, way down here, colon plane right here. So that takes no uh, prefix out. It uh, takes the the adjectives that uh, that uh, Roots Magic adds to a sentence out. Here's plane again on date, and uh, so anyway. But you should be aware that this is available on the Roots Magic wiki uh, that you can get to on the front page. Um, I don't have the uh, Roots Magic up or I show you. Okay. And then the other thing that I use for references was the associations list. So this is uh, the association thing. This is again the wiki. And then adding and editing associations, which is here. So these things are all useful and helpful and available to you from the front page of uh, Roots Magic.